All right, guys, we're here at the NEC for round four of BDC. This is a track that I've never done before. I think they've only done it once before, a couple of years ago. Um, and yeah, I've literally just done one sighting lap. Um, it's quite a sort of confusing layout because it crosses back on itself. So the first time you go around, you don't really know where you're going. And this is just going to be my first proper drift lap now. Assuming the uh, radiator attempts behave themselves. So basically, I've just put a new radiator in, a bigger radiator, because we're having a lot of overheating issues with the old one. So a bigger radiator, uh, different fans, and I don't know if it's if it's like an issue with that or if it's just they needed bleeding some more. But the first lap I did, which like I said, was just a sighting lap, it wasn't drifting at all, it got pretty damn hot. <laughs> no idea where I'm going, no idea what gears to be in, and the coolant's got really hot. Considering that's a pretty short run and I wasn't even full throttle anywhere near the whole time. It's kind of concerning. We've got only a couple of hours of practice really. Um, we had, well I think we've got four hours in total or something, um, but I'm going to get a lot less than that because of messing about. Got here late. Um, and then I've been messing about trying to bleed the radiator when I went and got food and blah blah blah. Um, yeah, I've not actually got much practice in. We've only got an hour left of the day now, so yeah, I'm just going to basically keep an eye on these coolant temps. You open the bonnet, give it a helping hand. All right, so the coolant temps are back down to a respectable 90 degrees now. Um, it didn't take too long. That was with the bonnet open though. Um, so we'll kind of kind of just keep seeing how things go and um, but yeah just getting used to the track is the main thing really as well obviously making sure the car doesn't overheat but also learning the track layout even though it looks like a pretty simple layout on paper it's actually really confusing when you're driving around it for some reason and there's one bit that was really slippy you might have seen me slide off and like way off the track um one bit's like really slippy because there's loads of sort of rubber marbles down but yeah, it um, should be all right. It's just kind of getting used to it because because there's not a lot of reference points because it's just white lines on on the track. There's a couple of cones, but they're only for the clipping points, not like the entire line, if you know what I mean. at all as you can tell this is literally just a complete shit show at the moment i'm just trying to learn where the track goes whilst you're also going sideways at like 60 mile an hour or whatever we're doing and it's probably not even that fast but um yeah it's a bit tricky i should just do another um another sort of sighting lap but as you can probably tell by this massive queue um yeah it's kind of it's kind of hard to force yourself to sit in a, a queue for like half an hour just to do a sighting lap Right, we're about to go out for our third run. Obviously done terribly so far. I don't know it makes me look really shit and like I just can't drift, but this is what happens when you come to a track layout you've never done before when there's concrete walls everywhere. Like, you're gonna take it kind of easy on the first few laps. And you also don't know exactly where you're going, where you're trying to sort of aim for and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, it ends up looking a bit of a mess like all of my runs have done so far. One good thing I've just noticed with the temps though is that as soon as I open the bonnet, they drop instantly. Like I literally dropped 12 degrees in about less than 60 seconds. So I think it's just an airflow issue rather than the fans or the radiator not being up to the job. You need to remember that that second corner is mega, mega slippy. Try not to go 
we're flying off towards the wall this time. Oh god, are we going all together? I don't know where I'm going. Don't follow me, Hayden. on the inside of the track everywhere. It's impossible run for him to try and follow. Like I wish, I wish they'd just sent me out on my own there. But to be fair, I normally complain that nobody wants to do any twinning. So I'm like kind of in the opposite end of the, uh, the issue this time. Now I'm like, I just want to go out on my own because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So we'll get, so we'll get in the chase queue and that way we can kind of go on our own. In fact, we can follow someone else and see if they know where they're going. Just me that's struggling, that's good to know. No one knows where the fuck they're going, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, it was still, it was shit if you were actually like scoring it as a judge run, but it, was, um, it wasn't too bad considering I was still just trying to learn the track basically. competition day and as you can see it's pretty wet so um, yeah this is gonna be very different to how it was yesterday we've got a couple of hours of practice now and then uh, qualifying in a bit so just try and feel out the conditions basically um, they've changed some of the well not changed it but just redrawn all the lines and like the clipping boxes and stuff on the track so it should be a little bit easier to um, to kind of see exactly where we're going, although the rain is probably going to make that harder again. So, I don't know, we'll see what it's like, get a few laps of practice in, try to do some chasing as well, and uh, yeah, then head into qualifying.
All right, guys, we're going out for the second one of qualifying. As you saw, my first one was terrible. Got 35 for that. Um, but at least it's not a zero. A few people have got zeros. Everyone's struggling like mad with this um, this track and these conditions. It is really hard. Um, so yeah, a lot of people have got zeros. A lot of people have got really low scores. I think I'm in about 20th place at the moment. Um, we'll see where we end up, obviously, after this one. But yeah, it's, it probably doesn't look bad on camera, but you just when you're driving, you can barely see any of the lines that we're supposed to be following. It's really like slippy in some places and then really grippy in others. And that's the same at any track pretty much when it's wet, but at most tracks you've had a fair bit more practice than we've had in the wet on this one. Because literally I've done four laps in the wet on this thing. So it's, it's like a complete new layout I've never drifted before. Surfaces are all random, like I say, and um, it's soaking wet. So yes, yeah, it is tricky. Um, I'm getting my excuses in now. I've done absolutely no chase practice. So like if we do get into battles, then it's going to be an absolute shit show. And going by what everyone else is doing on their lead runs is going to be just horrendous because everyone's struggling. So not absolutely everyone again. There's like three or four people that have done really well, but everyone else is just um, all over the place. So it's going to be a nightmare to try and chase anyone. And um, yeah, I'm going to be doing an equally terrible job of doing a lead run for someone to follow. So yeah, this is going to be all kinds of bad, basically. Let's uh, go get this second qualifying run out of the way and see if we do better or worse than the first one. a bit not that I would have done <laughs> great without that being there but it's coming around that corner think oh yeah they're moving it now thanks <laughs> could have moved that before oh no wait I hit it <laughs> fuck's sake <laughs> oh my god I want to twat like why didn't they move that cone before my run because it wasn't there before my run <laughs> oh god wow I really punted that then I probably got a zero for that run then if I was that far off and hit that, that first cone. I knew I'd tapped one of them, but I didn't realise it was that bad. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's, it's such a such a fucking lottery, that first corner. Everyone's been saying the same thing that I've been chatting to. Like, so hard to, to get that first corner right. Because you can't see most of it. And you've got to just enter at fairly... Well, it was high speed in the dry. It's not particularly high speed now. Um, you've got to just fucking enter and pray that you end up on the right line. Why have people parked like this so that we can't really get through? Good job. Um, so yeah, that was a shit show, but we might just about qualify if everyone else keeps doing pretty badly as well. Um, we'll see. I'll update you in a minute. Right, we're going out for the top 32 battle against this guy, Stuart Eggdall. He qualified in fifth, which means he is nowhere near as shit as me. And um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a laugh because I haven't had any chasing practice whatsoever and it's been two hours since qualifying so I can't even really remember how to do a lead line let alone a chase line we'll see what happens finish line. Okay, well Bryn didn't say anything about spinning before the finish line, so... 
I don't know, how's it going to go? done in the wet and um, where do we go I can't fucking remember Bryn's happy with that where are we going where are we going oh to this guy this guy looks like he knows a thing or two Whew. yeah but I can't reach the microphone because my harness is yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, that lead run felt decent, but I've no idea what this chase run was like. This chase run was pretty comparable to yours, not crazy close. Um, but your lead run was fantastic. They were saying on the commentary, it was really good. Oh, that one. Sweet. That's really surprising. That is really, really surprising. So that's really weird. Like, the track that I've been doing the worst at out of any, any of these rounds so far is the first time I've won a battle in BDC. That's quite weird. I don't know how I feel about that. I was just proper ready to be knocked out there. I just assumed that was going to happen. Like I always assume I'm going to do pretty terribly, but this this time was like a next level shitness for me. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm really surprised by that. I wonder who we've got next. Right, we're going out for top 16 battle against this guy, Mike Jackson. And it's a pretty similar car by all, by all accounts, like power-wise and grip-wise and everything to this, so it should be fairly fair. Um, the only thing is, the track is actually starting to dry up a little bit, which sounds like a good thing, but it's actually pretty bad at this point because it's just going to be patchy. There's going to be some wet bits, some dry bits, and we're not going to have a clue what's what. Luckily, he's leading first, so he kind of has to judge it a bit more than me. But um, it's still going to be a bit of a shit show, and I'll probably make a stupid mistake with the grip. So just catch me out. Some bits are really grippy and some bits are just really slippy still. Fucking hell. I am glad I was not leading there. Oh my god, that's so sketchy. Because like some bits are really, really grippy. <sighs> but now I've got to do a lead run without fucking up. I could barely even piece together a chase run there. Like without straightening all the time. I did once, I think. <sighs> fucking hell. That is, that is sketchy as hell. I've got no idea how fast to go into this first corner. grippy there than it was. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa! And then it just suddenly gets like ice on that bit. Fucking hell, this is horrible. I guess that should be a one more time because he spun out and I went off track. So we both get like a zero. Right, so it's one more time. Okay. Right, I've put a bit more pressure in the tyres. I haven't got time to plug my microphone in. It's been a bit of a rush. 
no more pressure in the tires and now we're going out for one more time. Thank <laughs> you. 